exterminated. It becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. Manhattan is built on a magnetic rock, and uh, whenever I come here, I feel really weird and crazy. I have to lie down. It'll be all right, I have to acclimatize to the uh, Manhattan magnet. It'll be all right in about an hour. For real. What time did you get back? Um. <laughs> About seven o'clock. Well, I spent about three hours rearranging my hotel room because I didn't like the way it was laid out. And then I had to come down and do this press. <laughs> you should come home when I told you to come home. What do you mean you tried to come out? You just did your amazing disappearing act. You it? lying little motherfucking oh, no, shit. You I came up to you and I said, I'm going. <laughs> I remember, sorry. Yeah, thank you. I said, I'm going because we've got to work in the morning and I'm a really <laughs> good boy. He said, no, I'm staying here. We have the creators, the masterminds, the, the brilliance behind the gorillas. We have Jamie sorry. and Damon here today. So you guys, what's going on is, is you guys have a gorilla show. You're doing a few shows here in the U.S., right? Doing five and, nights at the Apollo in Harlem. Okay, so how'd you guys, this is one of the more like brilliant, off the wall, amazing music concepts that's, you know, <laughs> come up in a long time. Right. Where were you guys doing sitting around and all of a sudden like, cartoon band, <clears throat> we're gonna make a cartoon band. See, I'm the sort of person who watches TV and just screams at it all night long. And then I ended up watching TV with him and he's kind of the same. So we just, we were watching MTV and we were just like, what's all this rubbish? <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> we saw this rubbish manufactured crap. So yeah. we thought we could, probably do it a little bit better, but slightly different. People take themselves way too seriously in yeah. the music business, so I suppose Gorillaz for us is just a sort of, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an antidote to that. Well, how do you guys feel about stuff, you know, like the, the extreme of what you're talking about, like American Idol or, you know, the well, manufacturer? All that, all of that is a sickness and should be, um, and should, you know, they need to find a cure for it. They really do. I mean, you know, sadly, I know the guy who invented all of that. Mm -hmm. he, used to, he used to actually work for, for our manager. He's got so much money, and all it's actually given him is, is a slight weight problem, a very, a very, very orange skin, and really bad leather trousers. <laughs> <laughs> That's really <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is karma manifest. <laughs> nasty little brain and a bit of it comes from Damon's nasty little brain and it's it's a little brain child. I think the whole thing about Britpop was that it taught me that it's very difficult in this country to be experimental. <laughs> Boy back. Mm. He's the one who does the back bit, she's the one with the tits, and she's the one who goes out with the other top and the other back. possibilities, not necessarily achieving anything of our ambitions, but just just going into it with that sort of sense of sort of a wonder again, you know, about what could be if we if, if, if got it right. <laughs> Thank you.
Success. This is uh, loads and loads of shots for them. Press shots for them. 2D. This is the, uh, we've got a gorilla in the band who plays the bongos. It's a noodle. All this stuff can be used for internet sites and press photos. And, you know. This is a scenario from one of the comics, one of the TV, for the TV series I'm thinking of doing, where they um, Murdoch tampers with uh, black magic and makes packs with the devil. And uh, they're filming a, a video in this graveyard next to this vivisectionist laboratory. And uh, he does a few little spells in the back of the tour bus, and all these zombie monkeys come out of the ground and attack him. A bit of fun, there's them playing. I'm, just, I'm dying to get animating, really, so I can make a move. First ever picture I've ever drew of gorillas. The day after we, me and David sat watching TV in the evening talking about it, the next morning I woke up and do that. No. G.D. Uh, Russell. Murdoch. Russell. Paula. We look fat as Paula. We always wanted to pick up on some sort of pop star stereotypes and then maybe have them living the lives of real pop stars, but that it didn't end up coming out quite like that because that they just sort of took on characters of their own. I mean, people are always saying, you know, that the thing that I purposely invented, like a, a black character, an Asian character, and uh, an English character, to make an appeal to everyone, but it just came out like that. I mean, when I was inventing Noodle, I was drawing sort of 17-year-old girls with guitars, and David said, you're always drawing stuff like that, why don't you do something different? And so I just drew a 10-year-old, and it's, it just seemed to work. Murdoch's sort of the, um, it's his band. <laughs> He, 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 he sort of put gorillas together. It's his idea. But he's sort of, uh, he's sort of an ugly, sort of snaggletoothed Satanist who didn't actually get the job of being the lead singer because he isn't very handsome. So 2D got the job, which is always, which is always going to piss him off. But 2D sort of looks at Murdoch and, uh, as if he's, you know, his saviour, his sort of big pal, his big brother. And yet he's totally abused him and he's an absolute cunt to him all the time. And um, 2D seems to be the only one who doesn't realise this for some reason. There's no one told him that he was new to Miracle Max. He's just one of those people who you tell things and it just doesn't seem to register. In one ear, out the other. Back to the This is what I like to do at work. Watch The Exorcist and the Zombies Dawn of the Dead all day. I watched uh, three zombie films on a row the other day. And uh, made myself feel really depressed. The animator will do the main body of work. I'm talking! The main sort of movement and stuff. And then there'll be a big team of people who are all there to sort of help fill in colour, ink, pencil. Shit, 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 shit. It's not a very exciting process. It's not sort of like sitting down in the studio and you know? comes up with a green little tune and everyone goes, oh. it's not like that, it's more sort of donkey work. <clears throat> but the finished result will be wicked. Are we ready? Oh, my God, there. Songs like this, you know, because we have all this nice dubby stuff, and then occasionally we just. Yeah.